All right. Is everyone actually ready, or do we just get into start recording? I'm assuming yeah. everyone is. Okay. Right. <laughs> Clappies, snappies, movie, movie clappers. That's that's what we do, right? And the audio just spikes into a mess. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Gringos Liberados. Hopefully, I got the production even even halfway right for I for. Uh, but my name is Trajan. Right, yeah. The beauty of being <laughs> Gringos is that we don't have to get it right. Okay, that's okay. that's what it is. <laughs> Yeah, that's that is that is the the card that we can always play. Uh, my name is Trajan. I'm joined by Rude Dude RMC and Four Y Four. On this week's episode, we're going to break down everything that went down on and off the rift on the CB LOL English. So, week three, reactions, thoughts. Does anyone have any burning, just searing opinions that they need to get off their chest to open us up? I want to open the conversation by saying I don't think Los Grandes will make playoffs. Agreed. <laughs> Next. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm liking what I see less and less, man. Week by week, I get more and more sus, and it's not an L's fault, but it certainly doesn't help. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you there, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're only week four. There's still half a split. Oh, sorry, we're only done week three. There's still two thirds mm -hmm. of the split to get yeah. through. And you know what? I, I'm going to hold out hope for Los Grandes. I think they might be able to make it. The one that I'm doubting right now is VKS, actually. That's my other team that I also don't <laughs> think will make playoffs. <laughs> I have yeah. those two not okay. making it at the minute. Wait, they, with they both of them not the making board. it, mm -hmm. who is then? Because surely we're, we're, we're like at five expected. No, that leaves six. Loss That's and six. BKS. Yeah, because so BKS, un unless you're counting on a Liberty or Kaboom mm. miracle run, that leaves four sure. out. Sure, I guess it would be INTZ is yeah, the one that, that sticks yeah. around. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's sure, two yeah. more weeks before Kaboom gets the O10 power spike, just saying. Yeah, uh, they're ready. Uh, I mean, for, for bat... listeners of last week's product, it's actually only one week until they get their one seven power spike as predicted by me. Oh, um, true. Yeah. Other <laughs> other people predicted, predicted different weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I have Kaboom yeah. winning next week. They're okay. like, they're Are game. they playing Liberty out of interest? Um... Uh, they've already played Liberty. <laughs> they're this they're first round robbing. The first so... round robbing. So they have to wait at least nine weeks. <laughs> Eesh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Rude, who's crapping the bed? Red or Fluxu? <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, yeah. I have Fluxu. Uh, well. Okay. No, um, I, I, we'll I can see Fluxu to... dropping it, if, even though if, no, I just did what they did against Liberty. I, I was going to say, one team has sort of those two has gone up against Liberty and almost probably, let's be honest, <laughs> lost that game. <laughs> they, they lost that game, right? They that did lose that game until they won it, until, <laughs> until they hit the Nexus. Titan, in an interview, yeah. said he considered that game a loss. Yes, yeah, even though he won it. That is a mature and based mm. take from Titan. Mm. Our most <laughs> mature Eddie Carry confirmed. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but or well, you know that 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 gif of him running up to his team, notwithstanding, uh, he is definitely no. very mature now. Um, but yeah, I think for 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 red, it's just become one of these things that like I just it, it's it's I guess more like for liberty, it's how is it not a win? It's actually just so painful. It's like watching a wild card team go up against like T1 at international, and they they're like outside the nexus. It's like you know, down one versus um, DFM when they're like, yeah. they've won the game, they're at the door, and then they just, it just doesn't work. It's just impossible. I don't I know how this, and then how they this lose. Happened, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I heard a take that was if you, like, let's say that red versus liberty game was, uh, was a fruit of some kind. Okay. And you, and you took that fruit and you put it into one of those juicers, right? Where it <laughs> okay. like juices the you. thing and like, and like takes the peel off and stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. And like, and so turns it into following. a juice. Turns it into a juice. <laughs> yeah. <Just> that... <laughs> okay. Yeah. That... We're, 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 we're with you. That, that distilled essence, what you get, is in its purest form the CB law. Yeah. <laughs> it's just. It's like, like if, an espresso shot make... of CB law. Yep. CB law yeah. juice. That's it. Yeah. That would be different it. from the source. The source is something else. The source is a, is like the force. It's like an ever present, all present kind of thing mm -hmm. that touches everything in the sea below but the juice is that game I've heard, and, uh... i heard there, there was another thing was if the difference between having the juice and having the sauce well we just did that difference yeah we yeah, yeah well, we've now defined it if, if you as a person yeah i think having the sauce is better than having the juice because if you've got like a bottle of ketchup in your fridge right sauce if you will that that shit lasts forever right the sauce is eternal True. The juice is momentary juice can go bad if you open a thing of orange juice and leave it in there for more than x days it starts getting fizzy <laughs> right yeah and you got problems. Liberty, Liberty is pretty fizzy right now. They're they're <laughs> feeling rather fizzed up. I'm yeah, not Liberty's feeling good about it. But I do agree. <laughs> Liberty's had the juice for too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> okay, right. So overall, we've had certainly some some very distilled CPL essence in terms of the standings, though, in terms of what's actually occurred uh, as a result of this week. Red are still at the top. They're still our best team, you know, on a, on a mm -hmm. visual level. They, they do appear to be number one. And does anyone think that's not true right now after seeing that game? Pain. Pain's number one, then. Well, oh could, my okay. yeah, no, well, not even one. biased right <laughs> oh, now. I, I think Red I mean, is actually Pain, Pain this guy. Them. Pain did beat them. It's true. Pain oh, no, no, no. Go on, go on. Pain beat them. Pain beat them. Red? Get, no, no. Pain, Pain just lost to Red. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh no, they didn't. So I was thinking aloud. Stop I was thinking spreading aloud. lies yeah. on the internet. <laughs> Um, okay, so so you think it's pain, but why is it actually pain? And and let's, let's we'll give him the, his pain moment for a second. You have to give RMC the pain moment every time he's sure. on air. But unironically, like when I'm watching this week, okay, with, when I'm looking at how the teams are kind of throwing <laughs> for the most mm. part, because I think every team mm -hmm. has had a shall we call it spectacular uh, start to the season where teams have lost and won in ways perhaps they shouldn't have. Pain to me has been the most consistent team, and I think even they are lost to red. That's red overperforming, which is. Very standard, I think, of Pain. Pain is just stable, and you've got to beat them. The question is how many teams can keep beating them. If they keep playing this way, I think Pain might actually end up first in the regular season. Playoffs will be a whole different beast. That's but... never gone wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's never gone wrong to finals. But um, right now, I actually think Pain is probably the most stable team, and teams have to play like above their current level mm. to beat Pain. And I'm not seeing that level of consistency. I don't know how many teams will be able to do that regularly. And with the mess that we have right now, yeah. I, I value consistency particularly high. Was Can I go? the pain red? Flame? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, go. go, go. Here's the pain first. <laughs> they lost to red this week! <laughs> but they're not the but, best team! No. <laughs> but, 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 so, so here's the thing with that. Was that the game where they played Dinkedo Jace and, like, yes. Lucian? Yes, yeah. and, and the They were trying... They were trying so, so, they right, take every right. B-Boy Lucian game, and they look they, amazing. They, Put people in Lucian, and there's they, big question marks. They picked up Liberty's draft notebook by accident and drafted the wrong team. That's all that happened, all right? Uh, they... Yeah, draft is a part of League of Legends too. It is. You can't it go, is. oh, they're the best team, but they draft really badly. They're not the best team then. Well, no, but here, no. I, here's, here's the thing. In the regular season, I do think that you can let games slide. And I think Payne was experimenting in that. The, the moment you pick Lucian for B-Boy, you're experimenting. You're just trying to see if he's over the trauma from split one five. And you don't do that in the game when you're going up against the actual best team in the league. You do that against your Liberties, your Kabooms to, to experiment experiment there hey, man, no considering chance. they did it against the best team it didn't look that that bad like it didn't look good i'll give you that but they <laughs> dragged the game out 39 minutes with a lucianami and with a jace that dinkato did not look comfortable on like, okay no i'll, I'll, I'll take i'll take the other side bad. of the coin and champion why yeah, yeah. red actually are the best team in the league um, all right they red look really bad as a team together <laughs> as a yes. team together they look awful um <laughs> i think that red are by far and away is our best team at the minute. Like, mm. I, I've, I, I will give RMC his consistency point on Pain Gaming. I think if everybody on Red plays at their peak and plays together as a team, they are going to slam everybody in a best of five, best of one, but they're the best team, hands down. And the game versus Liberty is example enough of the, the um, mantra that good teams win when they play badly. And that is like the epitome of that <laughs> sort of saying, putting into one. I don't know. I don't yeah. know if you want Liberty, that game, to be that standard. But, Rude, in that case, if we're talking highest ceiling, how do you think they compare to Peak Loud? I, okay, I, I've, I've got to air my robo grievances, and this is going to okay. be a lot more of a, po this is going to be a lot yes. more of a popular opinion since he's done really yes. badly this, uh, I'm over to yeah. my <laughs> side. <laughs> but I remember me and Trajan were sat in the copper box in London at MSI just going, man, every game is just robo kind of just losing and just him picking rise top so and going 0-4. And oh, yeah, God, I no, don't no. think that peak loud are, I think that peak loud get let down by top lane. And I think that the differences in the rest of the map don't offset that enough to FMB just super slamming Robo every game. But that's not Peak Loud. <laughs> we no, see Robo beat FMB. Uh, so yeah, Peak okay. Loud would involve yeah. Peak Robo, right? Which yeah, is the... Peak, Peak, Peak Robo Peak is, is not Peak FMB, in my opinion. 
Okay. I have yeah. have because I don't know if you've ever seen peak Robo versus peak FNB because FNB is a playoffs choker and Robo is That's a playoffs true. popper. <laughs> mm. So they, they're never good at the same That's time, right. and we'll That's never right. know who's good. actually good uh, between the two. But four oh four, you've heard arguments for both sides here. Would you like to offer a deciding vote here between pain and red, or maybe even or a, a third, third option just to <laughs> what, just to what, stir the pot? What is the exact wording of the question? Who's the best team in CPL right now? Right, right now? now. Right now. Right now. Right now, it's red. Okay, it's it's a, it's a red. Um, no, I, I would be inclined yeah. to agree, but I very much respect RMC's point, and I do agree that like I I I think I said this on cast. I'm basically just assuming that that pain game with the draft just didn't happen because they're never going to do that again. <laughs> it was a really stupid idea, and they're never doing it again in yeah. this split because it was I, such I, a dumb idea. I I do buy so, RMC like, like to RMC's point. Like it's like I. I feel like it's gonna be my entire personality at this at this point. I was put it in my freaking Twitter bio. Like Payne has the highest floor of any team in the yeah. CB Lol. Yeah. Payne's Payne's Easy. floor is so so high. Like I I think I think Payne will probably get to finals again and lose to one of it could I, it, I, it it could be Fluxu, it could be Red, it could be Loud again. Like I think the I that, what, but I think I think right now, like in the regular scene in the regular season, right? I think Red are yeah. just going to monkey everybody. I think they'll go you know whatever like fifteen and three. And win regular season. I don't know what the, what the hell is going to happen in playoffs, but so, I think yeah. they, I think they are going to just slam kids in the regular season. Literally, if not for the last game that they just played, I would have agreed with you guys. I actually wouldn't have fought for pain if not for that last game. But that last game was just too painful for me. Here's the thing: like that, that, that last game, like, but like, but did you see that three v five fight at the Nexus? I did. That like <laughs> like 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 out like that's big time players making big time plays. Like the reason I am so yeah. confident that loud are. Or that red are that team and they can be that team is because of moments like that it, like it was it, it was it was honestly like some of the best micro i've ever seen out of cb low like it got me fired up like it was it was a 3v5 aegis titan and fnb three guys who at their peaks are the best at their position they just i mean i don't know i actually haven't watched the comms i was gonna do that but then i got distracted so i didn't <laughs> <laughs> and now i'm here i meant to watch it before this but then i got distracted so i'm gonna watch it later so, but i'm sure they gotta have the comms there but like it seems so, like oh it was so cool it was so yeah. cool they just knew their jobs and executed them that was some of the most unbelievable shit i have ever seen on my on, on, on one my of my pet peeves okay. is when teams like, see titan their nexus dying like goddamn ruler titan played like a korean <laughs> really 80 carry did. he was really out of his did. mind you know when, when teams see their nexus dying no Pain has not actual not <laughs> not <laughs> not sorry, sorry. you know what? lck 80 carry <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Week, week four is coming up right um round eight if anybody from Pain or Liberty is watching, can we please have Pain try and recreate that? Go to hold, go down 10k and yeah. come back, Pain. I believe you guys can do it. <laughs> yeah, show us that you've got the source. What, 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 uh, what were you, you going to say, Rudy? That what was your pet peeve, Rudy? Uh, no, that. it's when teams see their Nexus dying and then are like, we can't stop this. I guess we just let them end. Pain yeah. right there, oh, not Pain, Red right there. We're just like, look, if there's any way we come back into this game, it's like, if, it, if there's any way we don't lose this game, we have to just kill them here, even if it's yeah. like the worst situation ever. And they did it. And yep. that's like the hallmark yep. of actually some sort of semblance of communication between the team, which was it, quite it nice. It looked like see. they went into a flow state. It was yeah. Like, I, yeah. I also, argue, I think the reason that I have Red being so good is that I think they're nowhere near their peak right now. I think that their flaws are so high as a team or as individuals, rather. That's why I have them as the best because I don't think they're playing anywhere near what I expect them to when they all look actually cognizant as a five man unit. Mm -hmm, so yeah. like the, the pain have the highest floor point I'm like tentative on because I, I don't have red playing anywhere near their highest point at the minute. Yeah. I, I agree that I think pain does have uh, red definitely has a higher peak. Cause this is also, yeah. we're like six games in with frosty. He's already really good. And this is like a yeah. rookie mm -hmm. almost. Right. And he's mm -hmm. only going to get better. I think in this environment, working with these players, um, with Nelson. I would hope so. I, I um, yeah. in, in a in an interview, I, I was going to put this in the Discord, but again, distractions. Um, <laughs> but you, the on on Mize Esports, he Titan gave an interview. He was saying like how Nelson's connections help them out so much that Nelson is going. He's trying to get Frosty coaching from Mickey X, and like yeah. using these types That's of connections. Choice. And yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and we'll see that hopefully improve. Right, we did a nice long recap on week three. I have plenty to go over it. Let's do a quick stop off on favorite moments 
from week three everyone can pick one and because i'm quote unquote sort of semi leading this i get to go first which means i get to have houses of zero play no! Uh, and no one else can have it <laughs> and if anyone thought this wasn't gonna happen then you don't know me and you haven't listened to my cast so what You're supposed to go last Trajan. <laughs> actually nope this is how i run things baby all right if you want to go first you got you gotta be run the show but my god the most insane play one of the most insane plays i've seen on CBLOL, full uh, full stop. Um, the, just going over the two walls, the the coast to coast from Azir there, mm -hmm, yeah. setting them up was absolutely insane. And the way that Fluxu pounced on that, when like, is is how's like I, I'd be interested to, to to go and watch back the comms of that to see what there, who's chatting, who's calling for what. If how's is like, guys, I'm about to I'm about to blow them out of the water here, or if he's just like, I'm going, you know, and he's just, he's just there. That to me looks like one of those situations that you can't communicate. Um, yeah, if, if I had to listen back to it, I, I would guess that House mm. says absolutely nothing and he just sees the angle and he mm. like does it before he can say anything. And then the team are like, okay, well, I, I guess we're going because once, he's once just you found see the, the shuffle the of all time. Like, once you see the sh soldiers like sprout from the ground as an ADC, your spidey sense of star go and you're just like, mm. I'm about to right click something here. Yeah, 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 exactly. As soon as you, I think, I, I, if I had to guess, that's what it would be. If, of course, House actually is just calling it and he's like, yeah, I'm about yeah. to murk all of them. Then, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you maybe you get the, the English speaking it. like, look, 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 and that's it. You know, that's what you get on like yeah. NA and EU, and they're just like, I have a thing to do. I'm gonna do a thing. Watch me do the thing, and please do something as well. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. I mean, yeah, the thing though is that watching how's what fascinated me wasn't actually how's going in. Like that was impressive, but what fascinated me was Desamis and Ty following up immediately like they did not yeah. touch the ground the cyclone flowed up immediately and then time managed to find again position for the Melfight ultimate they went up they never came back down like that was how smooth it was and they if it is a full state that's beautiful mm -hmm. all right so that was quite a good play we can all agree right now everyone has to pick something that's just different to that so unlucky guys rmc since i stole yours i'm not going to come to you first um 404 how about you <laughs> do you have any 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 moments that you want to pick um up? i mean I'm, I'm going to stray from an ob an obvious one, uh, and I'm going to say... Oh, good. I'll, think I'll take the obvious one. Thank you. <laughs> if you want the obvious one. Um, I, I was going to... I think it was in game... I think it was in game one. Yeah, it was um, It was Frosty uh, on Red Rakan. Red versus Pain. Yeah. Yeah, where he mm. picked off... I, I, don't, I don't remember who it was, but I just... I have, like, the... They're in, like, the Bot River, and, like... Everyone. You know, he picked everyone. Yeah. But he just saw, like... <laughs> Someone walked forward, might have been Dinketo Jace, might have been somebody, but like just went forward immediately, just like did the like double dash, YY, triple 360 fakey no scope, just like perfect Rakan combo in and got everybody. And like that was sick to see again a rookie, right? Like, like you said, Rudu just kind of making that snap decision and everyone just like, oh yeah, we're going, right? If you're going to in, in together, yeah. right? That's that League of Legends truism, right? <laughs> Frosty goes forward, all these other players who have a combined like seven titles right compared to this guy's half a split just mm -hmm. went immediately in after him that's a beautiful thing to see i love that yeah that was pretty insane for sure we'd love to see the connection there and maybe red playing together in some way right following up on frosties that is a good part a good set forward to that communication side rude dude give us the obvious one uh so this is actually not the obvious one it's from the same game i think for me i did like i, I only got to do two games this weekend but obviously like i'm watching them all the one that i covered was I, I did get the absolute banger that nobody expected um, with <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> with Red Liberty. It's not yeah, okay. the base defense because that's a great point as well. The three v five is mm. definitely worth it, and I think that mm -hmm. for a game to watch, I challenge anyone to pick a better game than Game Four from Sunday. <laughs> like that's, even that's if you were on Saturday, Game yeah. Four from Sunday was still just the game to watch. Okay. And it's actually the um, Titan play at Baron where Juliar has got Elder, and he's like. Stopwatches and like as Titan comes out of stopwatch, oh, yeah, he throws yeah, a yeah, final yeah, yeah. Q yeah. with like the one yeah. frame that he's not CC'd. He throws a Q and kills Juliera and saves the game. Unironically, with that Q, yeah. because if Juliera doesn't die, he's able to sustain, he's able to go into the base and actually end with his team in a 4v2 instead of a 3v2 under Nexus turrets. And yeah. Titan clutch factor was like, <laughs> yeah, that's he's my that guy, man. That was my favorite moment. Because like I, I mentioned this on the show, right? When me and RMC have our nerd moments about like my new show yeah. of League of Legends, That's it's it for right moments there. exactly like that. So <laughs> yeah, it, it, it hit yeah. hard for me. Sure, RMC, take us home. Now we've all, okay. given you, we've all taken the obvious ones. 
So I'm not going to take the other, the obvious one that four or four mentioned. You know, Titan based defense. Same yeah. game though. I, I think Liberty versus Red. Is this all this game? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because it was that epic. There yeah. were so many amazing moments where everybody stepped up. Yeah. And I want to give credit to Kiari, the the turret, uh, mm -hmm. the base dive that Kiari did when Liberty was winning into Red, where he dashed over the wall into the base uh, to to pick off. Uh, I can't remember who it was from Red. Was it was it Envy, I think, um, or Titan, like way inside Envy. Oh, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, 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 it was Envy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like. Kiari is somebody, and, and this is why I struggle with Liberty, because Liberty is struggling to win games, but their players are actually pretty good, um, especially the early game is so, so smooth. And then comes the mid to late game, it feels like Kiari just puts the whole team on his back and says, I'm trying to carry you best I can. And that moment to me was just like quintessential Kiari for Liberty, where he's just like, okay, people are dying left and right. I will hard carry this. I will dive in and I will find everybody, kill you, your mothers and your fathers, like the whole family if I have to, to try and win this game. And he does it. And then Kiari the had a solid comes game. After. Yeah, yeah, Kiari, absolute monster pop off game, and that was the quintessential moment for me uh, in that particular game to show how good Kiari was. Yeah, Kiari is currently, I think, has the second highest uh, record for kills in a single game in the split. Yes. Which wow. having a top laner have that is wild. It's like fourteen, which Jeez. is crazy. I think Bvoy has mm -hmm. first with sixteen from one of his uh, disgraceful. Like Zio or Zeri games where he just goes in and just funnels him really hard. But Towers. yeah, like, that's Kiari. Yeah. voice good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kiari is Kiari is definitely deserving of some recognition. Right. Let's step forward. We've managed to get the time back in hand. Good job, everybody. And let's talk a little bit about the meta, the accursed static shift meta. I didn't count up how many static shifts we had in that week. I should have, in retrospect. But it was too many. And, can can um, we save static shift off for later, Trajan? Sure. I, we can save static shift for later. Um, yeah. Because I, I have a like, I, I want to make sure that we've got time for static shift. I don't want to eat up all the time sure. static shift now. So. <laughs> sure. In that case, why don't we just talk about Ivern mid and an Ezreal <laughs> mid, I guess, uh, adjacent to static shift, but not fully. So VKS with the with the hugest brains of all time, but then they just kind of put the brains back in the boxes for next game and lost again. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was just back to Ari after that one. But yeah, the Ivern mid was certainly a sight to behold, and Grefthar doing his. His oh, yeah. walk over the stage was 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 good content for sure. Uh, that was awesome. You know what? That's not Grefthar's fault that they put it back in the box. Grefthar already said he just does no. whatever the team tells him to. So. Yeah. yeah, it's another <laughs> RE day for me. I, I put my work boots on and go back into the vibes. <laughs> <with my laughs> <RE pick. laughs> as far as as far as mid laners go, Ari's surely not the worst one. No, like top lane top oh. laners have to do Scion duty, Cassante duty, on duty. Yeah. I feel like mid laners Orn's, Orn's could have that as well. He actually went Orn's back to LeBlanc, to not uh, Ari. Static shift. Sure, uh, that's what yeah. it was. Oh, he had a static shift of the block game. It's yeah, just, yeah. There were too many static shifts. Are they lost? Hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah. I think well, the static shift of the block is 0 and 2 or 0 and 3 or something in total now. Tano lost his Cassiopeia, which I think is absolutely nuts. Like Tano was, mm -hmm. I think people forget he has Cassio and that this guy is a control mage expert. Especially mm -hmm. when the meta is like Annie and Ari, it's like Tano kind of reminds me of what Grefthar was saying. He'll play whatever the team needs. But there are certain champions where I see him lock it, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Zoe. Zoe is the other yeah. for me. Zoe, Cassio, uh, TF. Those are the ones where, like, when I see it, I'm just like, oh. oh yeah, but TF's not, a, TF's not a carry, you know? TF's, TF is quintessential tin owns because it, it's not, like, damage carry. In my, to, it's, to more my like the, it's more like the Lissandra Talia kind of bucket. Yes. Where you're, you're, I'm just saying, when tin owns picks it, I believe he can carry that team. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah he, he carries it not in the numbers way. But, I mean, yeah, tin owns, yeah. but he's been doing it too long. He's, been, he's played the CB low, what? This is what he does every single day. Yeah. I think this is his 10th <laughs> year in the league because 2014, right, was the, the Kaboom Alliance year. So 14, 15, 16, oh, yeah. 17, 18, 19, 21, Ten? 2, 3. This is his 10th year in the CB Yep. Mm -hmm. How old is he? He must be, he can't, so he must be at least like 26, 26 or 7, right? 27, 26. Yeah. 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 And he's, he's, yeah, he's still would. doing the damn thing. Like, yep. And he does it on out. every team. He does. He did it on Kaboom. He did it on Pain. He's doing it on Loud. Like whenever the team craps a bed, like Tino's right there holding up the world. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, bless him. Bless him, Tillon's doing the Lord's work. So, given that we have another week on this patch, do we think that anything else is going to change this week, or is it just going to be VKS giving us some spice, and then, like, has anything else actually materially changed? I think changed? more people will play Ivern. I hope more yeah, people play really. Ivern. That chunk is busted. so absurd. I hmm. hope... What, what, do you, what do you think about Rel? Did we see that? Because that was the other, like... We saw, I think, we saw a few Rel supports, right? I think mm -hmm. Rel is probably going to stay. I don't think we're going to see AP Rel, Rel jungle. No Rungle. Um, as much as I, as I may want. It. Yeah, as much as I may <laughs> want AP Rungle, it's probably not going to happen. Um, yeah. But uh, Rel support is probably here. 
I think by extension, we may get a couple of more Renatas. We saw a couple uh, mm -hmm. as answers to Rel. Yep. And I'm really happy with Renata. I love that champion. So mm. would be would be good if we saw Renata played into Rel specifically. The yeah. champ is actually a little bit surprised we kind of didn't see was Varus. Because I know that Varus has been making mm. the rounds in solo True. queue. Um, especially AP build. Uh, it was banned a couple times. Top and bot. Yeah. So yeah. actually, I guess that's why we didn't really see it. So I wouldn't be surprised if we did see the Varus sneak through. And watching Academy, there's a lot of Janna being paired with that Varus right now, which I think would work very well mm. into things like the, the Realm. <laughs> really just Varus like that. <laughs> Janna's not a champion Realm, you no pair Janna, with an AD carry. It's, it's, a, it's a champion you use as a counter. Janna's an amazing counter pick. Janna's well, not like a... It's a rail, too blind. I think specifically for Varus, um, especially when we're seeing a lot of Jace come back in with that Varus, you, you kind of form a full composition with that. And Janna Varus is actually really obnoxious in lane too, because it's difficult to engage on them. Uh, you can still run enchanters into them. And I think that is something that we might see, like yeah. enchanter plus hyperscaling. You but... just can't blind. You can't blind Janna, because then you just get out enchanted True, and yeah. lose. Yeah, I think you pick the Varus blind, and then your Janna is there if they mm -hmm. opt for the engage side. But it is Absolutely something that we're fine. seeing quite a lot and i wouldn't be surprised if we do see that come through in cb lol if the varus gets through and gets picked yeah i'm, here for Academy I'm looking at i'm looking at mid laners and i'm thinking because because rude said you want to see more ivorns i'm like who's gonna actually pick ivern out of these guys you know who's gonna pick ivern cross the l cross the l should <laughs> pick <laughs> ivern <laughs> exactly <laughs> all three of you put the jace away it was a fun experiment we don't need it you played the galio and that was the most fun that we had with you all split long just keep playing support, pick it mid, and Ivern Shield, Lonely's Renekton, man. That's, you know that's who what else I will. Or his Jace. Is, is, is Furia and Tuts. They'll, Ooh, they they will pick true, Ivern. Yeah. They'll pick Ivern in three lanes, I think. Ivern's yep. a triple flex. Oh. Yeah, on, yeah. Like, on ironically, is top jungle mid. Stick it wherever. I think this champ is worth going. And go see... AP, guys, please. Stop yes. building support. Stop building yeah. support on Ivan. He's actually a full AP champ now. Like, unironically, please yeah. just build your Nashes, build whatever. Wait, I, I forgot who interviewed Gref that. Was it Loop or was it uh, Dude? I, I can't remember who interviewed uh, him. It was... I, I, this, I took this interview. I should really remember that. Yeah, I, I, think I think it, it was... Was it the first one? Of those Either way, what's the point? I, know, the I, I think it was Loop. I think it was Loop because Jude did the first one. I think it was like Nosferus or whoever the first interview was. I think Grefflo mm. was the last one, which I think was Loop. Okay, yeah, because I remember I he asked right. the question, why AP instead of support item? And I was like, that's a brilliant question. Thank you for asking because I was wondering that too. Yeah. Like, I think AP has so much value, especially in the mid lane because with when you go AP, your shield is so big that you can't get poked out. And then you're poking the other person and they have to actually get in range to pop it. Because they don't pop it, you get the refresh on the shield and you just keep auto attacking the bottom of the bush. There's, there's hardly any counterplay. It is so frustrating, immensely frustrating to deal with. And that... when you hit level six, Daisy yeah, just easy. smacks your ass. Like, I'm not even <laughs> kidding. Genuinely, because no. if you build Nashes, I, I, I think the way it works is that your attack speed also now scales onto Daisy's attack speed. So Daisy like gets three hits mega quick and it's like poof, 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 knock up into more hits because she also deals a lot of damage when you know free hitting, um, which yeah. leads me to a point about junglers using smite appropriately. But that's just <laughs> smite Daisy and Tibbers, please. Yeah, I beg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so out. again, Academy, I watched two Tibbers kill an AD carry, like where Annie just dropped the Tibbers, not on the AD carry, and then told Tibbers to walk at the AD carry and kill them, and it worked both times. <laughs> it <laughs> is a six. They are six yeah, and seven respective champions. members. Like, yeah. they do need focus. These summons do work. So I, I, I respect what Greftar was doing with the, the whole support build. It does give a lot more support uh, to your carries. But I think Greftar himself is also like a bit of a carry. Um, and I like it when he's got some AP to yeah. kind of take over his lane. Um, and I think it would kind of benefit uh, Grell specifically as well to have that big, one big shield plus an extra buddy on those skirmishes. So I would love to see AP Ivern uh, this coming week a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see if we can get it. If we're lucky, we'll get some more spice coming through this meta. Right, now let's move on, fellows, to our first game of the day. Our first okay. hashtag segment. Um, and this is something that I am calling the cook-off. We will each be given 30 seconds to cook, as it were, to pitch an answer to the question that I'm going to pose. And then we will decide who has given the best answer. So the question is... And we, we, are, we are judging who did the best job at arguing, not, not what, what the right answer did. is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who did the best oh, job? Okay. 
who pitched that suit? performance okay. who gave the best the best uh the best we're not seconds, tasting right? we're not tasting the food we're presenting it and judging the presentation yes yes there will be no tasting <laughs> yes exactly okay. right so the question is who is the best brazilian AD carry in the CB LOL right now. Do you and that's mean Brazilian, Brazilian nationality Brazilian. or CB LOL? Brazilian born and bred. So B Boy does okay. not count RMC. You can leave now if you want and come back after. <laughs> but if you have an answer, yeah, there he goes. So uh, Brazilian only. Um, and you can pick whoever you want, but everyone has to have a different one uh, to make it a little more interesting. Uh, you guys can will... go first because I know you're not going to pick mine. Yeah, I'm happy to also go last here since I managed, since I just asserted myself over the house play, I will take oh. uh, last after Rude Dude and, and, well, and nice take the hit there. I hey, know. you know what, then I'm going to take I'm... first after being shafted by the house play. Yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah, and, we've already, I've, and I've already BM'd him about B-Boy, so let's go to RMC, <laughs> let's get 30 seconds on the clock for, for, for uh, visual watchers, and we can get a little countdown here going RMC, 3, 2, 1, let him cook. Okay, we got to talk about the best AD carry in the league. Not only is he the best, but he's the most experienced. And I'm talking Titan, the successor to BRTT. We were just talking about Liberty versus Red. This man put the team on his back and hard carried in a totally horrible position. And he not only did this time, he's been doing it consistently. Red is great, but they're not together. And Titan's the leader that keeps forcing them to win over and over again. Now, Natuno, he's good. He's got two MVPs. Guess what? So does Titan now. And Titan MVPs are more recent. This guy's top three in damage percent and DPM. And time. Solid. There were stats. There was emotional appeal. There was relevancy. <laughs> there was recency. It had it all, that one. That's a strong performance by RMC for sure. Now, uh, 404, since Root has so graciously offered, as have I, would you like to take second, <clears throat> 30 seconds back on the clock, three, two, one, let him cook. RMC, you have activated my trap card. You said that <laughs> Titan was top three in, uh, in whatever statistics you named. You know who's above him in those statistics and literally every single other one, like KDA, average kills, average deaths, the other way, obviously. Uh, not average assists because ADCs have to be alphas, not little beta assist boys. Uh, kill participation, damage percentage, and vision per minute. That's Brunsey, the one and only. One and only. I like that. I like that it was... Uh... Uh, the the assertion of beta assist boys. I think we need to <laughs> we need to hold on to that one potentially for any carries. Uh, but uh, we'll 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 remember that. We'll all remember this. Um, now, uh, Rudid, since your time has come here, thirty mm -hmm. seconds back on the clock. Three, two, one. Let him cook. I'm here to talk to you about the actual best Brazilian AD carry. Are you not just the best Brazilian <laughs> AD carry, the best AD carry in EU West? My boy <laughs> hit rank one when he came and boot camped in Europe over MSI. He's playing not just the generic champions, the Aphelioses, the Zeris. He's also playing Nila. Nobody else is pulling out these spicy picks. He's giving entertainment on the rift and he is slapping fools in solo queue. Up in every single lane, he's the best. Are you? He is. 30 Only seconds three is weeks a lot in. shorter than you think. Yeah, mm, it is. Right? Three weeks in and the man's <laughs> the no best. time at all. That's how, that's how quickly your number can be up in Brazil, I guess. 30 seconds in and that, you're not the best anymore. <laughs> we, we, we roll swap to support and now he's better than you. Sorry, bro. <laughs> back to Academy with you. Uh, okay, 30 seconds are back on the clock. Uh, if someone else would like to give me a I'll countdown. Um, uh, okay. All right. Trajan. Three, two, one. Let him cook. You're all completely wrong. It was referenced by RMC and you said, oh, Titan's the successor to BRT. The real successor is Natuno. This is the man with the Draven. This is the man who's been clapping lanes ever since he joined this region. He's on the Furious super team. You put him on a super team because he's the super AD carry. And you said, oh, most, most recent MVPs. The most recent MVP is Natuno. He's the current reigning MVP from last split. He's literally the best in that role. And everyone is saying that he's fully ELO held on Los Grandes. Someone get this team, please, dear God. Close. Uh, okay, I don't think it's fair of us to judge, so we just have to ask the people at home. I think that's the way yes. to do it. Yeah. Who made, who in the, made comments the best down below. case? Not who do you agree with the the choice that yeah. they gave. Who did yes. it with the best? You got to put your biases aside. You know, <laughs> despite your team tags and your Twitter handles. You know, mm -hmm. you got to forget those and just judge us on on the debate 
championship that we have held here. Okay, right. We shall see, hopefully see everyone's uh, answers to that in the comments and on Twitter, etc, etc. Right, okay, next. We have another game. This is a two-game episode, guys. You're getting spoiled here today. Because 4 by 4 has a, a mystery game. Okay, I asked okay. him what it was. He wouldn't tell me. So 4 by 4 <laughs> over to you. What the heck are we doing? All right, so this is a game that I, um, when we met uh, initially to discuss this podcast, I pitched it as an idea, and I got a couple of I love this ideas. So we're running with it. Uh, because nothing right. gets 4 by 4 okay. harder than validation from other people. <laughs> um, yeah. Especially ones that, despite loving you guys dearly, have never actually met. So, uh, <laughs> if that doesn't tell you enough about me, well, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll learn. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go um, I'm gonna go around the horn. I'm going to read a take. Um, this take could have come from anywhere. This could have mm. been an ACB low broadcaster. This could have been LS. This could have been a player. This could have been a piss random on Twitter. Point is, <laughs> I'm going to read you a take and you have to, you know, in about, you know, I'm not going to make, make the pull of the stopwatch again, but you have to uh, expound on it and say whether you agree or disagree with it and give your reason. And what's the goal? How do we know who wins? Or is this a discussion <laughs> topic? I have to know who wins. I'm very confident. <laughs> <who wins. laughs> um, I don't know, actually. I haven't thought that far ahead. Uh, I, th and then I will reveal who said it. Nice. Okay. 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 Sure. All right. Can we, can we try and guess who said it? After you we've can. done our... Nice. Okay. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be stunned if you got even one of them. Just I, can, there I are, can win at that. Because there are so many people. <laughs> There yeah. are a lot well, of I'm not, people. I'm not going to guess the individual Twitter handle. I'll probably go my cat. <laughs> like, I, this, I've seen this guy in my replies on Twitter every day. I know who this is. <laughs> Shout out to the Cyan <laughs> God. That's got to be the first one, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, I was literally going to pull off the, the one INTZ supporter who literally is in my replies every time, who just says the giant is sleeping. And if one of yours was just a tweet that says the giant is or the giant has woken, I would literally know exactly who it was. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh... Is this Rudy. a team effort? Oh, uh, okay, never mind. No, 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 if, someone, if someone wants to take it, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll throw it out there, and if someone wants to take mm. it, you can. All right. Sure. If Los Grandes go 0-2 this week, changes will be made. Well, again? Oof. They are 2-4. and 2-6, and six, you're basically cooked. I okay. think RMC may be best pressed at present to, to answer this one. As our resident Academy viewer... Actually, Shout yeah, twitch.tv slash random minion caster yeah. for... He knows what they've got in the tank, so... Yeah. I'm actually pulling up my document right now to see who it is. Um, okay, I, is, I it, actually... is it he not ours? Ah! Ah! I know who they have, but in one player they have, they've got Cello. Bring Cello in, that'll solve the problem, <laughs> I guess. Maybe. Yes, uh, yeah. Pench yeah, when, 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 when they, uh, yeah, when, when they release Natuno from Elo Hell, they bring Exactly. Out. Natuno, <laughs> the guy who I just pitched as best AD <laughs> carry. Get him out, he's he, needs, he needs to go back to Academy so fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, so here's the thing. It's not even about the academy. I just think the strength of schedule, if you look at the next two teams that Los Grandes is playing, it's INTZ and Red. So I don't think Ooh, losses tough. against them would be unwarranted. Even if Trick was still on the roster, I don't think they win those matches anyways, much less, you know, now that there are lane swaps coming You're, you're missing the point. Swaps. We're missing the point. The point is that in the world, they go 0-2. This is a oh, hypothetical. Okay. So it doesn't matter who they're playing in this yeah. game. I mean, okay. Yeah, and, 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 I th and I think to like their fans and stuff, it won't matter who they play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Do they make okay. changes? Do they make changes? If they yeah. vomit, do they make changes? I I don't think they do. I think Ranger's happy in the support role right now, and I I think Ranger doesn't really want to swap back to jungle necessarily. Like it's better for his mental health, he said, and also he yeah. just I think the shot calling has been pretty solid from Ranger this week. The way I look at it, it's it's a lot to do with No coming in and maybe not being used to the system they're using i thought his round three game was or sorry, his round five game was fine his round six game he started messing up on the sidrani a lot and the other he, problem he too is a couple rough ultimates yeah like he went in i remember there was one where he queued missed ulted missed and then w missed like it was painful to watch and to me that you're kind of tilted. <laughs> yeah the other problem too is who are you bringing in like, if you yeah. put ranger back in jungle and you're promoting mito up uh to replace ranger mito looks okay but right now i can't see him for Celo, like Celo is doing so well that that bot lane looks like it's a Celo show. And mm. if you put him up with Natuno, I feel like it's just going to be the same. And if that's the case, then you might as well just leave Ranger there where he can shot call yeah. and actually play with the MVP. And yeah. Ranger has said before, he thinks that him and Natuno, they're one of the best bot lanes together. 
breaking up that synergy is going to make things worse. So I think at, at least for this week, even if they go 0-2, no changes yet. If they go to a third week at that point, maybe panic buttons start going off. And I think a lot of that just comes down to how comfortable Ranger feels and how much he's attributing that that loss to sort of NO coming in versus uh, NO as a player coming in versus NO coming into a team that needs to reestablish their comps. Yeah. I fair enough. I, I think it it looks so bad if you change and then make another change after two more yeah. weeks, right? I yeah. think they do it. They would avoid it partly just for that reason. It looks really sus. There's no better solutions there. Uh yeah, I, I think that you just have to accept that this is the team you have and yep. we go next. Honestly, if you're like yeah. if you were aiming for titles, we we go next, maybe. I I I think that's just like a loss Twitter random, like replying to a CP lol like re like result tweet. Mm. Or or maybe like losses own, <laughs> losses like defeat graphic if they have like a defeat post match thing, and then this is like loss will make changes. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it has that it energy was, uh, to it. it. It was under the uh it was under the I think it was the, the the week two like, oh, you know, we're gonna try to salvage a one one week and then like a picture of bowl. <laughs> yeah, was, those those were those were some unhappy Twitter threads. But yeah. dark days. But, but a surprising amount of people just with hashtag Golos. And right. you know what? Humble. Respect. Your team is in the Those guys are cool. Yeah. Your team yeah. is a dumpster Respect. fire. Loyal. And exactly. Yeah. All right. Um INTZ will make playoffs and win a series. <laughs> win That's a series. Like a little bar to me. Mm. I already win said series? they'd make playoffs, so that doesn't make surprise playoffs, me. They have to win a yeah, you should take this route, dude. You've already got half yeah. of this down already. Go yeah, route. I'll, I'll, Until I'll bite that they take playoffs. That then, that then means that do I think they are a fifth best team? Do I think they're top five versus top six? Um, yeah, and just, do you like INTZ in a best of five over the top six right now? That's a rough no. top six. Because this top this INT squad actually hasn't played any best of fives. They've been losing before they get to playoffs in the last couple of splits. The majority of these rosters, albeit with different teams, will have players that have played best of fives. Um, and I'm just making sure that I'm not missing any blatantly obvious. I mean, okay, so Ninja Kiwi, obviously, um, and Yampi. You know what? A couple of these have played best of fives. Mm -hmm. I don't think Ninja Kiwi's played a best of five. No, yeah, Ninja Kiwi. He, I don't think yeah. he came into Renska and I like got Renska confused with them. They, he like he looked really good on a really bad team, but then yeah, Renska yeah. was a different team that went to finals. Yeah, that was and, the tree going yeah. damage spot then. They, yeah. they were they were too late to make so, playoffs. Well, Yampi made exactly. Yampi has made a few best of five appearances. Yes, yes he has, yeah, he has. and he has been a driving force for them through this uh, this split, but. I still say no. I still say the lack of best of five experience, and my preseason biases may well be getting the better of me here. But I think I've given enough of a case for the for the former that I'm happy to say no. They don't take a series. All right. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, that was Titan who said that. Ooh. <laughs> wow. He said that on just uh, dropped on, it. Just yeah on, on the on, on the Ilha das Lindas on Bayona's show on the um, the after show. Um, Depois do crime, after the crime. Um, to be fair, what he said exactly, I, I, I'll admit, I, I doctored this a little bit. He said, <laughs> he said, he said, INTZ will make playoffs and more. Oh, well, that means win a series. Th that's yeah, fine. That, 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 yeah. Yeah. The only more you can do is win a series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just wanted, just wanted to be Maybe they win a right game. Up. That's fair. Like, yeah. Unless when, you're when unless you your replies, <laughs> like, you have misquoted me, so. Yeah, fun fact, that INTZ roster is the only one um in which zero of the five players have won a CB LOL title before. Oh, oh everyone else is one? at least one title winner. Oh yeah, Tuts is Tuts has got a little, little yeah, Tuts is there. Even, Tuts even, first split. Even Avenger. Ave, Ave, Avenger mm -hmm. was he like yep. main mm -hmm. He played at Worlds. Playing... Did he? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. He, he played at Worlds. He played, I think, two games of that when, best of five. When Grabstar was struggling, they popped Avenger in, and then he actually performed well. Oh, mm -hmm. sure. From yeah, sure, fair enough. Yeah. 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 No. Well, so there's your fun fact of the day. Wow. All right. That. Okay. Um, VKS will miss playoffs. <laughs> Based. Quick one. Um, that's, oh, that's... Who wants this incredibly cold take? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's... 
that's that's a yeppers i think for me i think at this point like uh, it's just if it's still this the way this week went when they had the really smart draft and then they just went back to kind of it felt like just losing in the same way where just like we're not on the same page and we're just kind of losing out in individual matchups as well and we, we, we're not harnessing guigo and trigo and damage just to me they're just they just don't have the source man they don't have enough source to win a title or do that much like they're really good but that was before we had like four more poggers ad carries who popped up and i think it's just not mm. the same landscape and i just yeah. think as much as it hurts to say i think trigo i think he's a little capped at this point and i think um it's just not you'll notice he up, didn't so... come up at all for the discussion of best ad carry mm. Yeah, that's Brazilian. Kind of there, he, he he does he does have some crazy ass stats though. Doesn't matter. Sure he does. No, I don't, he does. <laughs> for for yeah. whatever that is worth, his, his he doesn't pass are, the eye test, unfortunately. And as I as I as yeah. I said as I said on cast, you know, I trust my eyes. You know, Casante's bad, the world's <laughs> flat, and Trigo's bad as well. So yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> here's here's the thing about stats too. Like some stats weigh more. So for me, for eighty carries, the the one of the biggest stats I look at is DPM or damage share. And you're right, Trigo has some crazy stats for that. He's got the lowest damage share of any AD carry right now, twenty four point three. Mm -hmm. And granted, part of that's because Gigo is Gigod. But yeah, this is a very specific team. I think that plays yeah. differently to pretty much any of the others in terms of the way they allocate, in terms of the stars that they have. So I, I don't judge him too hardly for that, for sure. But um, it's not the most efficient, successful way to play the meta. That's for sure. Like it, mm -hmm. it, they've gotten some wins from Gigo Gwenning as Gwenning it up and stuff. But yeah, I think. Uh, Maybe the meta changes and it's it's top lane carries all day again and maybe maybe it works. But the but... problem is the meta changes for Baldwin. It's bad for Trigo. Like this was supposed to be his meta, right? The hyper skilling AD carries like With the Zaya Filios, as well. Jinx, yeah, yeah Zeri, Zaya. Like if we go back to more lane dominant champions, like I was yeah, not actually, a huge fan worse. of his. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Callistas and the Lucians is not him either. Fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, so I think I think that was definitely uh, um that's a true for sure. I think that. Uh, INTZ, I'm way more confident in them, even though they like lost a little steam going down, uh, going to one on one yesterday, uh, last week, right? But they're still super solid for sure, yeah. and I think Titan has enough weight behind his opinion that I think that is worth something for sure. Um, in terms of who made it, I, I mean, I. Yeah, to be fair, like that, that's a take that many people have. So yeah, yeah, like, that is a take I, I, I heard it, around the Twitter sphere today. So that's why I brought it up. Yeah, for this yeah, week. sure. So it's just um, the, the, it's a vibe check kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. but the person that I did specifically quote that I have on my Google Doc mm -hmm. was I you, my friend. So I'm glad you didn't change your opinion. <laughs> <on that. laughs> <Changed the moment. laughs> Oops, that would have been so good. <laughs> I was hoping to get the gotcha oh. there. Yeah, I was just like, ah, who would say this? Which kind of. <laughs> unknown giga random with one follower put <laughs> this take out into the world a, whoops at cj treasure is there an underscore there there is an underscore there i'm afraid All right. yeah there it is uh <laughs> fo fo follow for more incredibly <laughs> ice cold takes i guess on, on the cvl standings uh okay okay do you have any more takes for us for um i mean i've got a couple more but i'll give, I'll give one more so i feel like we're running up on time one, one quick more. fire yeah one um, quick take all right in some order, Red Loud Pain finishes top three. No. Yes. Yes, disagreement. <laughs> Red Loud um, Pain. I think that Flute Two season, will way. land top three. I don't know which of those I shove out. I shall I continue the train? I'm gonna really piss out. off RMC. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. say Pain out. Yeah, top three. we're shoving Pain out. Um, I you think Pain here top four. That. Don't make but it I think <laughs> I think Flukes who get I think Flukes who get in top three. Um, at the expense of Pain. Yeah. At the expense of Pain. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I mean, so you're you're kind of counting on still like a near perfect split or a near perfect end of the split for Loud because I like. Like, yeah they're, they're gonna they're gonna be good they're gonna be really good yeah yeah they got Sayo a lot of said one week well. right say said one week until we're the best team in the league mm. on the interview mm. so well yeah <laughs> i believe him i love sales yeah, yeah. That's that's crazy. Crazy. I, I, tells it like it is <laughs> i just kind of random one it, sorry no 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 go 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 go, go. if, if i had to yours. bump one out honestly for spice and matchup wise i'm thinking of like who matches up in playoffs who's playing against who who's knocking who out I might knock 
loud out if Robo doesn't get his act together. <clears throat> I think that, that, they, they, they could if, just drop some random best of ones. I think that if, if, if Playoffs Robo, if he just runs out of steam, five titles in, you know, and he just can't <laughs> do it for another year, and he can't carry the team again, or can't just go That's into Giga Robo mode, uh, I think that they get absolutely creamed by, like, Wiser, who's probably pretty good, and then you can't punish Tay and the other two lanes are too much of a problem for Fluxu, and then Red is obviously just Giga Red by that point, and yeah, yeah, the FMB Robo matchup might, might be good for FMB that time, so... If I wanted to get a bit spicy with it, I would bump loud out on the the, the assumption that maybe if Robo doesn't make it, um, and then to form. and then who would Fluxu go make it in? Then it would be Fluxu. Huh? Because okay. I actually think matchup wise, Fluxu has one of the worst matchups against loud because of Tuck uh, and into Robo. Exactly right. So if Robo has to crumble for that to work, Robo no, no, has other to way around. Yeah, but I think Tay's the least likely to punish Robo. <laughs> So, we, so yeah, but like, but but I, I think that it's like it's best not of necessarily... ones, right? This isn't in a best of five scenario. This is for player or for before. Oh, oh yeah, it's player. Yeah. So it can be Robo fumbles against other tops that do punish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That loses the yeah. games. That's interesting. Uh, tell yeah. us why we're wrong, and tell us why those three teams will make it in RMC. Well, okay, mine's probably the coldest thing, just because I think Loud and Red are the two teams that have probably the best individual players on their roster. Um, that's why I questioned mm -hmm. you earlier when we were talking about Red being the best. I agree. I think Red's really, really good. Um, I think Loud is a team that actually can contest them when they're in playoff form. And the playoff buff does bleed over a little bit to end of season. We've seen Robo come into form like mm -hmm. right before playoff set. So yeah, I, this is true. Yeah. Um, so I guess if they can kick, out, kick it off early, I think Loud will be top three. Um, I think most of us here have that feeling. We've seen them do it too many times. Um, Red is just so incredibly strong that we've seen them win games they have no business winning um, just because <laughs> they are just that good and for me like i mentioned before i do think pain is right now the best team with the floor that they have and i don't see that slipping anytime soon will they drop games sure but i think just repeatedly over and over when you're flipping those coins pain's going to come up hits more than any other team so um, that's why i think it's just going to be those three teams at the top going into playoffs All right. thank you one of the cb lol official portuguese broadcast members <laughs> Uh, no, he close. The shot. Oh. Close. Uh, it was <laughs> close. A, it was a, it was a panel on uh, on my Z Sports. The, oh, okay. uh, the, the news outlets. There was a kind journalist. of like a, right. yeah, a, a, a panel of journalists. Uh, random one. You have to give one word. Um, this is just completely unrelated, but I was thinking about it. Seos is the best support in CB Lol. Yes. True. Yes. Okay. Great. Who is the second best? One word. I just I just want to get a vibe check from everybody. Sai. I'm Frosty. looking at them and it's definitely I'm I'm, just, oh, I'm bold. I'm, I'm gonna say Jojo. <laughs> oh. Ooh, some rare That's JoJo stuff. Okay. Style. All right, yeah. here's up. Tell us about it. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. One word. No, no it's one word. Okay. We gotta, we gotta move on. We gotta move <laughs> no. on. I'm, 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 I'm doing you a favor, Trajan. <laughs> no, I was supposed to say cross DL. <laughs> <laughs> if he plays Ivern, then yeah, I'm switching my vote. But yeah. <laughs> From any role. But okay, right. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the takes. Feel free to offer us more takes, and you might, who knows, we might even, you might even find your takes appearing. Yeah, post seriously, your takes. On future episodes. Yeah. If you yeah, get shoot, a regular shoot, second shoot here. DM. Shoot the CB, like, no, don't shoot the CB Low English DM account, because then too many people have access to that. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, shoot me a DM. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or okay. comment them below the video. Also works. Yeah, yeah. actually, that's probably the best Just thing. Comment. find a way to get your takes towards us, and you might hear it on a future show. Right. Let's look forward. We're coming up on time here. Unfortunately, RMC, your trivia extravaganza will have to be pushed to the next episode or the next episode you're on, wherever that is. But for the next week, week four, matches to watch. What do we care about? What are we looking forward to here? Does anyone have any opinions out the gate? Who's got one they want to show? <laughs> Can I do my uh, Kaboom are going to beat Fluxu? Pitch. <laughs> um, Honestly, go as, as someone who was yeah. like Fluxu, Fluxu knockout someone from top three, but somehow yeah. lose to Kaboom in the same split. Yeah, tell me, tell me all about it, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a hard sell, gents. So I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, right. I think that the the Kaboom that we've seen have tried a very wide range of different styles um and i think that by the game on fluxu they will have hit 
their they will hit their one nine for the first regular season. The three six nine analogy that four by four uses. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they'll hit a nine on Sunday, and I think that flukes who are just inconsistent enough for me to think that they're gonna randomly decide League of Legends isn't for them on yeah on on Sunday. And I and you think they're gonna be actually uh yep. No, I, think I, 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 I think if they beat Pain on Saturday, there is more of a chance they lose to Kaboom. Actually, yes, no. yes, yes, I agree yes, with that. I, I do, I do. I think I, I agree with way. that part. But yeah. I actually think Krastial might have something of a house this this split so far. krastial has been really good at playmaking, and I think the house has been dormant versus last split house. So... Like he uh, okay, we have to take the we have to forget recency bias, guys. The first three gonna, weeks, like, the first. Shall we forget a third of the entire game pool? Then, yeah, and just uh... well, well a, a sixth, right? He had one really pop off a Z a bit a Z play. He was he was aggressive shuffling on his first Z game as yeah. well. It wasn't as pop off, but he was still playmaking. Mm. Okay, maybe Azir, if they play right? a Z, then it looks worse. He's doing what he worse. can with a Okay, yeah, I, ban I believe Azir, in Kaboom. Kaboom ban Azir. Now I'm sold. Now I'm Kaboom blue. have blue side, so they can ban Azir, or, or they can yeah. first pick it. Um, and Krasty actually do the house. You know? Yeah, exactly. I, I think that I'm looking at mid lane for this. Now, I also want to give a bit to Lonely. I hope we just see Split 1 Lonely a little bit. RMC mentioned earlier that Ty is one of, I would say, probably their weakest part, and that's not a credit to him being bad. It's more so no, yeah. just him just being passive, that's all. Yeah, just being dormant as well. Yeah. So the solo lanes for Kaboom are where I'm looking to. I think that unfortunately Raven is fairly bad, and that might be might be an issue in a bot centric meta but um <laughs> you know like i say uh, this is going to be a hard sell and my sell is that the solo lanes will do enough and the books who will just yeah. collapse yeah. because on the day which is is not mm-hmm. untenable you know no. yeah uh, as much as i don't want to believe it yeah. I, we, we saw, I, I we saw a forward. yeah we like Count on them to collapse for one game. We saw them do it for half a split last split. Like, <laughs> still do it for an yeah. entire day. What's, they, what's yeah. one day? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's about that true. time too, right? Where Flux is yeah. going to fall forward. So. Yeah, no, this is when they start up. winning. It was weeks three through seven yeah. when they looked oh, like the best team in split one. Wrong, right? yeah. And then, the, so like weeks one and two, were kind of like, eh, this team's mid. Three through seven, we were like, holy moly, they're going to win everything. And then they playoff they, slumped just before yeah. playoffs. Yeah. And I was like, I okay, well, they swept. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. You know what? I believe in the 4x4 uh, pain promotion, though. If they beat pain. <laughs> yeah. yeah if, if they beat if pain, they beat pain get, their chances of beating Kaboom do go down. And that's yep. that's fact. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, RMC, any matches okay. that stand out? Yeah. So I don't know if this one's going to be a popular one, but I'm actually very interested in Liberty versus Vivo Gate Stars. Um, I, I, buy, I actually I buy. think this might be a harder yeah. sell, I'll be honest. Uh, well, no, I I'm actually think them. Liberty is actually... the last Liberty game. I want to yeah, watch that. Their, their early games have been consistently good. They just need to close out. And last game gave me a lot of hope. That wasn't Liberty fumbling the bag. That was Red, like just as you guys mentioned, like hitting flow state, like getting to that perfect hive mind. And that was like peak Red we saw at the last end, uh, the last bit of the game to end it. So Liberty, I th- I'm hoping that that game actually sparks Liberty to higher heights. And if you look at Cade Stars, Cade Stars have been struggling in the early game, not because they're not active. But because Grell's very coin flippy. And so that makes for a potential game where Liberty might just dominate the early game, shut down Grell, and actually be able to take a win. So from the Liberty side... has had good win, good early games as well. Yeah. yeah. And now that Juliera is starting to come in line with Kiari, to me, that's actually a potential win con. And from the Kate Star side of things, they need to bounce back. <laughs> they had very questionable, you know, week three. Even their win, um, I had a lot of questions at the end of it. And I want to see Kate Stars like solidify things. Uh, we heard, I think it was Dinkato in the interview when they played Kate Star say that they got sucked into the Kate Star pace. I think Kate Star has been sucked into the Kate Star pace and they need to kind of reset, <laughs> slow things down a little bit. And if there's any team where it's a good sort of test of the waters to try and fix things, it's Liberty because Liberty is not bad. They will test you early. And so if you can fix things against them, you're much more set for the rest of the league. I think Julia has a lot of damage control to do for me or reparations to do for me because I, yeah. I have not been impressed I, even the game I, that he was playing that like was super cool he was also the one that in the big moment got caught and died yeah and lost yeah, the, the game, game. Yeah. Or, yeah yeah or, that's the very red yeah that was the guys again yeah 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 he, he, he's 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 started the reparations for me for sure yeah. 
that's like that was like the one the, the first time I saw a play and was like, oh, that's the Juliera special. You know, he's only done one Juliera special so far, and he had like <laughs> six by this point last split. So he, he's on the path to redemption, but he's not there yet. And again, it is such an insanely stacked pool that it's mm -hmm. definitely hard to stand out. So he's he's getting there. Give him a couple of maybe another split or two, and um, we'll see where he lands. Yeah, Meta might shift to his favor as well. He's a good laning eighty carry. Like Callista was yeah. what I remember him for last split. Yeah, and yeah. Just yeah, for sure. Four I four. Any matches? I mean, there, there, there's a few kind of soupy matches, you know. Like, I'm, 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 I'm taking real a bit of a cop out here. Ones. Yeah, real, real sludgy. Uh, <laughs> real, real. Do not flush these objects down the toilet. Type. <laughs> of thing. Um, I am. What does that even <laughs> mean in the context of a game of League of Legends? Four I four. It was not my best extended metaphor. We move. Um, I am yeah. very interested in Loud's week. Oh, oh uh, yeah. They've got Furia and yeah, ITZ, right? Got to be the best team your, right now. Yep, this is, these are your benchmark teams, right? Mm -hmm. um, you beat up on some weaker teams. You've got three wins in a row. Great. Furia and ITZ, right? Just ramp up. This is like a... Like, Loud got all their really hard opponents out of the way first. Now, they lost to everyone, but still. <laughs> they yeah, did get them out of the way. They so got proposed. I, yeah, I think these are the proposed middle of the packs, right? If we're talking exactly. about VKS yeah, and is, Loss not making playoffs... The two teams that we expect, expect to make playoffs that aren't region. top three, yes, yeah, yeah. Right. Yep. yeah. So, because I, I think like we're or like the most of the Twitter sphere is saying, okay, you know, if VKS and Los drop out, that means Furia and INTZ are kind of your five six, right? And we're you know, like, am I not? I, oh, okay. I'm sad that that's like a general consensus. I thought I was going to be like, I'm sad that everybody <laughs> just not maybe it's a slightly bro. spicier take, but I, I think everyone <laughs> yeah. has quit on Los Grandes. I'm sad that everybody is just yeah. like, yep, INTZ are good now, and they've not needed like more time to come around because i really need a lot of time to come around on int yeah I, I, th I think yeah. from what i can tell the consensus is that they'll make playoffs but i i think yeah. that they will they if they make top four i think they people wouldn't well. be surprised if they just back to back bounce out in bo fives you know what i mean okay. yeah, yeah. I, upper to lower to out i don't think it's so much that people are just like oh INTC is good now so much as they're just looking at what happened to loss and I, I think i think that's it they like, yeah. just yeah. Los and vks they're just like these two teams i can't trust them therefore right. i guess yeah okay. yeah um, yeah, yeah, but I'm looking at Loud's sure. Week. Yep, Fury yep, INTZ. Uh, to bookend the weekend. First and last games of the weekend should be fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I personally am looking for Pain Fluxu. Given how much discussion we have had today about who's better between Pain and Fluxu and who's going to place higher, Pain or Fluxu, I want to see who wins between Pain and Fluxu now. <laughs> because we've just been, yeah. we've been asking that question. Seems like a versus. Dinkedo versus Howes in a Zier meta is very enticing to me. Obviously, yeah. only one of them There's can no have it at through. most. It's yeah, just it's Victor someone a Zier trade. It. That's all it is. Yeah, so, okay. Or if we're lucky, a Zier Corky Zier. trade. Wow. <laughs> like, yeah, Trisha, let's go! So, <laughs> so I want to see how that happens. I'm very interested to see how Tay deals with Wiser, how Tay deals with, like, this is a top that kind of should push you in and uh, do nasty things to you up there, if this is the Tay that we know. And if he, if he gets through that quickly, I'm going to feel a lot better about, like, even if Robo wakes up a little bit, maybe he doesn't actually just, like, solo kill Tay three times and win through top lane. So I want to see how that works. And just th their carries, Bevoy Bronze is very, very exciting. They're two of our most exciting, like, explosive AD carries right now and are, like, super hyper carry still, tons of damage here AD carries. And then the mid lane matchup is really interesting for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is a slight aside based on mm. what you just mentioned. Can we do a vibe check on ZZK? Hoggers. For versus Wise <laughs> specifically. Because these are the so uh, the the story I pushed at the start was ZZK and Lonely were like the two non wiser Korean tops. Yep. But mm. I think ZZK is definitely making a conversation for challenging Wiser. I wanna know where people sit on that. I think they're very different uh, top laners. Like to me, Wiser is the rock that doesn't move, right? Like he he soaks a crap ton of pressure and he'll always deliver. The ZZK is more of a carry top laner, like more what I consider traditional Korean top laner. Yeah, yeah, the Olafs and the Cannons, right? Um, and I think that from what I saw from ZZK, at least with the, at least played the Olaf three times, and he's done really well with it in lane so for sure. ZZK weekend. in lane, yeah. So, yeah, the the Robo solo kill was pretty funny. <laughs> um if it was robo i believe it was right like the level two solo kill with the flashes and everything it was a bit embarrassing and then i i think that out of lane it really struggled i don't know if that's just loud waking up and he wasn't allowed to do anything but 
CCK in lane, lane I'm sold 100%. Yeah. Out of lane, I'm not a thousand percent sold. The Kenan was really good, but I'm okay, not that's fine. I just wanted to do a quick vibe check. I was just curious. Yeah, what people were. yeah. in like, lane, I'd probably put him above lonely, but in t in the later stages, I might prefer. I lonely, put him above lonely everywhere though. at the minute, and so do I. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, 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 it, it, it's rough because lonely is on the team that he's on. But like, yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I think ZZK is just he's he's shown more dimensions, right? We got like we we we've seen the highs of split one ZZK more consistently. And that's mm -hmm. very exciting. Yeah. And I blame oh, Lonely's performance partially on Flawless as well right now. Flawless is not clicking um, the way Yampi is. Yampi oh. is popping off right now. Yeah. So that makes... Yeah. Talk about two junglers that have gone just a completely two com yeah. polar opposite directions as far as public perception. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Um, I did yeah. want to say as well for ZZK though, the Kennen I feel like is his only team fight champion. When I look at ZZK, what he, he has played, I think of him more as a duelist top, like Gwen, mm. um, Fiora, Chase, Renekton. Uh, heck, uh, he actually played a lot of Urgot in the past as well. So like this guy is somebody I expect to like, sit in a side lane yeah. and just split push like all day long. And I think you ban away the Kennen, uh, that's the problem. Whereas Wiser is kind of the opposite. Like I don't think of Wiser as a duelist, he can be a duelist, but when I think of him, it's more Nar, Melfite, um, yeah. Uh, he can solo Kennen, kill Robo on Olaf if he wants on Gragas. He can, yeah. Because yeah. why not? Wiser, <laughs> yeah, or Gragas. Wiser can do it all. He can take a team yeah. fight based top laner and still win the trades with it. So, yeah, yeah. And people started banning his Nar now, which is funny because like yeah. no one else is getting a Nar ban on 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 Earth right now. Yeah, I'm like, in this I'm like somewhere. Yeah, for yeah. 2021, yeah. Parang and Wiser were running the league with Nar in yeah. top lane, and you could not yeah. gank them ever. Yeah, LLA and CPL only. South of the yeah. border, and these uh, where the Narbans live. But uh, we are going to have to to move to wrap up because we have gone slightly over an hour now. But we have a lot of good chats here, a lot of interesting stuff to go from from last week. And looking forward to this week. So, with that, thank you everybody for listening slash watching. Thanks, Rudy RMC and 404 for joining me on this. Everybody, feel free to follow the uh, unofficial CBL English Twitter at CBL underscore English for more podcast episodes and potential random tweets and takes and retweets, etc. You can also find all of us linked. Our Twitter is linked on the CBLOL English page, on the unofficial one, on the official one, just around and about. You can find them if you want. And be sure to tune in to the stream. As always, usual time, usual place. CBLOL English on Twitch. Uh, I only know the time in my godforsaken country, which is 5 p.m. <laughs> so One whenever p.m. Brazil it's... time. Not there you Pacific. go. <laughs> there you go. All of those Everyone times. Everyone shout out those time zones. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So join us there for week number four. It should be a banger as always. I forget who's on it. You'll find out if you go and watch the stream. So thank you. <laughs> and also thank you to Dia. Shout out on Produce once again, yep. the silent hero behind the scenes. And we'll see thank you on you. the next episode. Thank you. Good night. Bye. 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 <laughs>